Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a miniature Christmas scene in a bottle cap using polymer clay and resin. So let's get started. The first thing you'll be needing of course is a bottle cap and I'm using this gold one which I purchased from the supermarket but there's also places online that sell really cute ones with like different patterns and designs. You'll also need to make sure that you remove this little rubber seal inside the bottle cap before beginning. I'm starting off by taking the colour of my snow which is this pearly white clay and I made this by mixing regular pearl clay with white clay. I'm taking some of my liquid clay and scraping a small amount into the bottom of my bottle cap and this will act as a glue to help secure the clay to the metal. I'm then just pushing the clay into the bottle cap and making one side slightly higher than the other so that I can add the little frozen lake in there later on. Now to make the trees, grab some green clay of your choice and shape it into a cone. Take your needle tool and then add the leafy texture by swirling the clay around gently. For the little Christmas ornaments on one of my trees, I'm using these micro marbles which were part of a nail art kit, but you can also find micro marbles in craft stores or online. I just picked these up with my silicon tool and then added them all the way around the tree by pushing them into the clay. For the gold star on top, I took some gold clay and made five indents with my needle tool so that it kind of looked like a flower. And then I took my blade and cut out small sections of it so that the ends became pointed rather than round. my little star to the top of the tree using some liquid clay and this will help secure it on. For the tree trunks take some brown clay, roll it into a snake and cut off a section to attach to the bottom of the tree. I then added some more liquid clay to my snow before adding the trees to the scene. Then to add the fallen snow onto the trees, I thought I would try using corn flour, which I don't recommend because it rubs straight off, so just completely ignore that it's even there, and then go ahead and bake your piece in the oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I took my Christmas scene, some water, white chalk pastel shavings, and a small paintbrush to then add the fallen snow that does actually work. What I did was firstly wet the areas that I wanted there to be snow and then I applied on the chalk pastel shavings to these areas. It kind of ended up applying similar to acrylic paint but it was much easier to blend out. Now for the frozen lake, I'm using UV resin, which I'll leave linked down below. I'm then mixing in some of this blue UV colour changing pigment, which I thought would have a really cool effect like a melting lake. So in the shade, the lake is white and frozen looking, but then when you put it in the sun, it looks like it melts and turns blue. So I just mixed the pigment in with a toothpick and then added it to my scene in the deeper hollowed out section. Then all you have to do is cure the resin under the sun or a UV light and it's completely finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is what my finished Christmas scene looks like. I really love the effect of the colour changing lake and I think it worked out really well. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!